Right, okay, so we're going to just follow the steps again and we're not going to like try and get ahead of ourselves and jump and say, oh, I'm getting really cocky with these, I can do these in my head. We're not going to do that, we're going to follow the steps. So the first step, identify your group. So this is quite a hideous looking expression, okay? So we're just going to start on this end, look for an oar. So we're going to go do, 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 oh, there's an oar, there's one part of the expression. Start the next group off. Oh, that's a nice little short one. Start the next group off, there's another O, stop there, and the final bit. So that was step one. Right, we've got three inputs, A, B, C. So we need a rectangular map this time. So I'm going to do A and B across the top, just for the traditional sense, and I'm going to do C in the rows. Okay, so that's going to be 0 and 1, so just to help myself, that's going to be not C and C. Then I'm going to do the A's and B's, and it doesn't matter what I put down, as long as they only change by one bit each time. So, traditionally we start with not A, not B. Then I'm going to do not A, B. Then I'm going to do A, B. And then the final one I've got to do is... <coughs> A, not B. Okay, so just double check that they, I've got just two occurrences of each, so I've got not A, not A, 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 not B, not B, B, B. Okay, so no, no, not one. They only change by one B each time. That's the key bit. Right, so that was step two. Now we're gonna do, for each group, we're gonna identify where the ones go in the grid. So looking at this, we're looking for not A and not B, so that's there and not C, so that is that location, okay? So your map might not look identical to mine if you've done the notes and ones in a different order, doesn't matter. So I've done that one, tick it off. Then we're looking for not A and B. So not A and B is there, but there's no C term in that one, so C is irrelevant. So I have to fill the entire column in, so whether it's C or not C, fill it in. If you don't do that, then the map will go completely wrong. So that's that one gone. Then we've got A and B, which is there, and not C. So that is there. This bit, doing these not C's and C's, the not A's, and that is crucial to helping. All right? We can all try and be clever, and like we're going zero means not A. But I find it confusing if you don't put those, because you can easily mess it up. And we're here to not easily mess up easy things. Right, and then the final one, A and C. B is not in this part of the expression, so B is irrelevant. Okay, so I'm looking for an A. There's an A, there's C. Is there another A? There is another A. We don't care what the B is, and that is still on the C row. So that is step three. So I've done my map. Okay? Step four, go for the biggest groupings. Okay? So... Always trying to identify, and I can see one, there's one jumping out of it in the middle. There is a massive square. Well, massive in terms of it's two by two. Okay, that's one. Then I've got these stragglers. I could put them in ones, but it's better to pair. Because if you pair up, you can reduce the expressions. So I'm going to go for those two together, and those two together. I think that's the shape you've got, Olivia, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so that was my step four. So I'm doing it in steps, so I'm not trying to rush ahead. Next bit, look at the groups, see what values change, so we can discard them. So let's do the big square first. Right, so looking at this, I have got not A and A. Oh, so A changes. Uh, I have got B and B, B stays the same. And we've got, because it goes through both rows, we have got C changes. So we're going to discard the A, we're going to keep the B, we're going to discard the C. So we end up with, for that part, B. Nice, we like that, we like that, we reduced it, one input, great. The bigger the box, the simpler it's always going to be. Okay, right, let's do this one. So we've got, uh, looking at this. Not A, not A. So A stains the same, so it's not A. 
Uh, but B, we go from not B to B, so B changes. And if we look at that, we've only covering the not C, so not C, not C, not C, it's my brother. I call him Steve because he doesn't like being called Steve. His name's Stephen. I call him Steve. A bit like my sister. She's called Cheryl. She hates being called Shez, which is what, what? I call her. That's what you do, isn't it? That's what you do. It's like if someone's got an Achilles heel, you niggle it, don't you? Tweak it. So I always call the Shez. So I wrote a Christmas card out the other day and I put, Happy Christmas, Shez. <laughs> there you go. Uh, that's siblings for you, isn't it? If you've got siblings, you'll know what I'm talking about. Right, anyway. It, that's got nothing to do with this car now, Matt, and it's now my video, but hey. Right, so the ones that stay the same, we're going to keep. So I'll keep that. Uh, <laughs> discard that. We don't, we're not interested in you, Mr. B. You change. You changed. We don't want to know. We stayed the same. You changed. Go away, sort of thing. Right, so the expression for this, not A and not C. Okay, so let's just underline those, got a lot of writing. Right, final part of the map to look at. Uh, right, so look at this, we've got A and A. So A staying the same. Uh, we've got B and not B, so B changes. So we can get rid of you. And then we're only touching the C row, so C stays the same. So we're going to keep that, we're going to discard that, and we're going to keep that. Okay, so the expression for that part of the map is going to be A and C. Okay, right, the final bit is to stick all that back together. Join all these separate little expressions with ORs. The order you put them don't matter, okay? So we're just going to put, start with this one, so we're going to say not A and not C, or I'm just going to take this one, or B, or A and C. For clarity, to help, because this is a human thing, computers don't like brackets. They don't need brackets generally, but you don't need to put them around the <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> just pair them up. And that is our simplified expression. And that is the beauty. Yes, that's what I'm <laughs> What we doing? You put not all. Oars. Oh, I'll put hands on the oars. Well spotted. At least you're awake. That's a good thing. Okay. Right. That is the beauty. That initial, if someone had like worked out the logic of this circuit and they've gone, right, yeah, the, the way that it works, it requires, this is the pure logic of it. And then the engineer comes along and says, well, actually, I can reduce the complexity of that. I'm only going to use two ands and two ors. When originally, in that first expression, we had one, two, three, four, five, six ands and three ors. Okay? Um, we've actually got a load of knock gates as well that we've got to do. So we've actually reduced the amount of silicon. What that means is we reduce the component count but it also means that, hey, if we've got spare components, we can actually do more stuff in that space. One thing that this is super useful for is if you're programming, um, we've got certain types of circuits that you can reprogram with code, CPLD chips, okay, that are programmable. So you've got logic arrays that have got loads of gates and you can turn them into anything you want. Uh, and if you've ever come across FPGAs, these are the things that people are doing now. People are actually creating, taking old circuits that are no longer made, or complete circuit boards, and turning them into these little chips that have got the same logic burnt onto them, but burnt using code. Really, really is interesting. I wish I had some time and we had some time to mess about with this, because it is interesting. People are like, someone's actually taken, if you look, search for FPG Arcade, there is someone who's done a few of these and they've taken the Space Invaders arcade board which was spread across three PCBs done with loads of logic chips and they've turned it into a single chip that emulates the entire circuitry of it. So on a single chip you've got all the horrible logic that we used to do all on one little chip. Amazing stuff. But it is something that's quite interesting. Okay. <coughs>
Yeah. Right, okay, did everybody get that? Yeah. Right, it might not have been in the same order as what I've done, but hey. Eh?